Pop singing versus rock singing. What's the difference? And should I get a different vocal coach for each one? Well, I guess that depends on what kind of pop singing you're talking about, what kind of rock singing you're talking about. I'll get to the vocal coach thing in a second. From a technical standpoint, good singing is good singing. So if you're a good pop singer and you're singing technically well and you're able to you know, express yourself well and not lose your voice, um, that's one thing. If you're looking to turn up the volume of your voice, which is more like rock singing and you're not just heaving out vocal vowel sounds out of your throat, that's something completely different. So let me explain. If I was a pop guy and I'm gonna do a lick and the lick is yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the pop guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the pop guy doing. The rock guy's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's a little louder, it's a little more aggressive, it's a little more distorted, okay? Now, most pop singers, especially today pop singers, they'll, they're real like, hey, right? They're real light and airy and very R&B, kind of on the sound, and, you know, and the rock guy's yeah. You know, he's like got this, you know, much more aggressive sort of approach. Well, good technique is good technique no matter what, period, straight up. And if you really want to look and juxtapose the two together, put them side by side, a pop guy is really, could be a, could be a rock guy that's just not singing as heavy and can't because they haven't trained their voice to sing that heavy. In contrast, a rock guy may not have the same finesse and genteelness or gentleness as the pop guy because he hasn't trained his voice to do that either. So I'm not saying one or another is better, I'm just pointing it out. So what do we do? Well, first of all, a good vocal coach that really understands this should be able to demonstrate both with their own voices like I did and they should demonstrate students that do this like I do at KTVA. Turns out to be really important because you're only going to be as good as your teacher, your sensei, the guy that you're modeling yourself after and how they've trained their students. So let's do something here and let's just take a, a scale and let's do this. Now, if I were to train a pop singer and let's say the scale is on an A and we're going to go lay, right? Could move it up. Now, if you notice, that kind of singing is a little throaty. It's, I don't want to use the word anemic, but a little on the weak side. And I'm not using a lot of strength in the sound, right? But that's kind of what pop is. So, right? Now, if we were training bel canto, opera, it'd be, It'd be more robust, have a lot more resonance to the sound. Now we want to come back and train smaller sounds. We want to come piano, as they say, or you know, uh, uh, go from forte to piano. So we want to be smaller in the sound, but we want, also want resonance to kick in and get a big voice. So let me say this: a voice that's trained small cannot sing big. It, was, it didn't build up the muscle structure. But a voice that's been trained big should have also been trained to sing small and can do both. So what is the difference between a pop singer and a rock singer? Well, a well-trained rock singer should be able to sing like a pop guy, right? And sing more gentle and more R&B and more mixed voicey, but also be able to sing big and robust and heavy and probably have more range and probably grown his chest voice, more of a power belting sound into his upper register. So technically, no matter which one you choose or what we're talking about, good technique is good technique. And we start more kind of on the pop sort of side of the coin when we first start to train, if we're doing it correctly. And then if we want, and we want to get into a bigger, more heavy rock sound, we train to heavier, more resonant sounds in order to be able to uh, train and sustain a heavier rock sound. So they're both really kind of equal in one sense as far as the initial starting of the training, but the rock sound is a little more difficult, it's a little harder to manage, and it's a little harder to maintain with stamina and endurance and longevity of the voice, okay? Hopefully that was helpful, and that is the difference. I'm gonna sing